guys. So, today's tech blog is on a devilishly difficult contact move that came out of some of the experiments that uh, I was doing with the video that I did a couple weeks ago on how to create a routine. Um, namely, I was, uh, the, the routine opens up with a number of moves that are single poi manipulations, and I kept coming back to positions where I was holding both the poi handle and head with my two hands and trying to think of what I could do with it from here. So I tried, you know, doing things like this over the shoulder manipulation. Um, and then I got to thinking, well, what if I give myself something really hard contact wise? And that's where this came out of. Using uh, the shoulder position here to set myself up for a forearm roll. Now, in order to get into this, what I'm doing is I'm landing the poi um, right in this nice little crook. If I turn my head just so, I feel the poi connect about mid-jawbone and mid-clavicle. That's, that's kind of my signal that I've reached the butter zone here. And by flicking the handle, it comes around and I can get it to land in cradle uh, with the opposite hand of the one that was doing the flicking. That is, I start off with my right hand, I go around to my right shoulder, I flick it, and it lands in cradle on my left hand, right? Once it's landed in cradle in my left hand, it's still got some momentum behind it. I can use that momentum to push it back onto the right hand, or perhaps I would just like to complete the movement and uh, get it back into my hand as such. All depends on what the intention is, right? Uh, if I want to make it really, really hard on myself, which of course I have been doing in droves, the idea is to be able to get it across the other hand and then get the exact same position with the other hand where, once again, it's kind of nestled uh, between the midpoint of my jaw and my shoulder. And I'm, I'm pretty much finding I'm having to hold it in place every time I do this in order to keep it from dropping. And once that happens, the tether switches over to my other hand. And, of course, it's time to flick it back into, uh, into cradle with the hand attached to the opposite shoulder, right? Um, I've been trying to get a good chain going up where I'm going straight back and forth between the two, which is crazy hard. Um, but another thing you could do with it is just set it up to go back and forth between your arms like that. Um, or, as has happened a couple times as I've been practicing it, uh, after you initiate the transfer, if you've got enough momentum on it, there's no reason that you can't keep it rolling right around your shoulder like so. So, yeah, um, have fun with this one. It's a bear. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, I will see you soon. Peace.